morning. It is good. There's 10.50 for in the morning. I still have to have breakfast, but I need to do something first. I need to take my tablets. Just got these large cotton pads just to throw them over there. Oh, ooh, do I have my tablets? There we are. Today is a Wednesday. It looks like today's a Wednesday. Yeah. It's a Wednesday. And I've just kind of just woke up, you know, to my face. Just need to do a bit, put some bits on it now. I love these big pads. I wanted to try them out because I thought to myself, why not try them out just to see what they're like. But I do like them. And, you know, I always use stuff because it's great for spots. It's really good for spots. It's I need to get some more because it's running low, like. That's how much I got left, and it's running low. And this is the Pixie Glow Tonic, which I absolutely love. It's really good. I just love it. it. Just takes care of everything. Your spots and everything. Your spots and everything just takes care of your spots. Which I always do in my ears as well because, you know, there might be some things where you need to clean behind your ears as well. And then I put some like breath of fresh air on. I do use two times, but I spray my face and spray a bit on a cotton pad. I do use the Breath of Fresh Air because it's so good. It is a, the sea breeze captured in a bottle. A refreshing space to tie over. Great to use any time throughout the day. As a pick me up, mine fresh, so you can spray it. Like, you don't have to use a cotton pad, you can spray it on your face and let it cool. Like I do that when I've already done, I like a, in the morning, sometimes in the, when I do my stuff, I spray it on a cotton pad, always in the morning and evening. But if I need to refresh, I go upstairs and I just spray that. And it's really good. I just, I just love it. It just looks, just feels so good. I just love it. Yeah, people might be saying behind your ears, that's disgusting, but you still need to clean behind your ears, guys. I always do that in the bath. I always call like clean behind my ears. Like we even neglect our ears, but we can't. And then I use Celestrol, which is a moisturiser. It smells fucking good. You only need a little bit because it, it does go a long way. So I've only got a little bit. Trust me, it goes a long way. And it smells, um, but making sure my skin is perfect. I'm gonna record a video. I'm gonna do a one on this one. I'm gonna do on this one. It's the Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm gonna do that. So I have done my makeup. I'm testing out a foundation, and it's very dark as you can see. Like, see, look at that. It's just so dark. Like, it's really dark. Like, I just can't believe how much of a difference it is. Like, it's so dark, but it does. It's all right. I can, I can, kind of wear it out. I can kind of, but I'm just gonna have some for uh, lunch as well. So my lunch is not that. It's definitely not that. There's no way that I'm having that there. No fucking way. Oh, fuck yeah. So I have some lunch. Okay, I might have to take an avocado. Or I'm not gonna have an avocado today actually. I'm not going to have one today. Which is, you know, that sort of thing. I swear I did pick one, like I did swear I cut one in half and I did put it in a, another dish. Yes, I did. I put it in another dish. Thank God for that. I put it in another dish, there's a Wednesday. And I put it into another dish, thank God for that. I thought to myself, I swear I took an avocado and put it into another dish. So this is my look, it's very festival. I thought to myself, I wanna keep it nice and natural, but have some sparkle. So I, I did that because I thought, why not? It's gonna look good. You know, it's going to look good, you know, just to have a little bit of sparkle. I absolutely love my lunch, but then probably it's gonna be very different because I'm gonna have butternut squash, butternut squash, butternut squash, butternut squash. Oh, butternut squash! Get the butternut squash, get the butternut squash, get the butternut squash. But yeah, I actually like my look. Um, I think it's nice and pretty. You see, it's kind of a big difference, you know. But I'm going outside now, and it's nice and sunny outside. Oh, really nice and sunny outside. But yeah, my plants are actually doing very well as well. I've got my plants. I need to water my plants. I need to water them. But I have got my plants and everything, which is really good. Like, I've got my plants. My plants are good. 
kind of, I was like, it's kind of a bit wind windy. It's kind of a bit nice. This house may be small, but the welcome is big. Oh yes, direct quote from my nan and grandma's house. Direct quote. So I'm gonna have some forks, which I wash up forks and they disappear out of this house. Oh my God, it's gonna taste so good. I love stuff like this. I just put some sriracha on top. It's gonna taste so good, eh? Look at that. No, it's literally warm right now. Oh yeah, oh, that is good. This actually gives a bit of hotness, but really good. Sure. It's really good. Hmm. The tofu is amazing. That is tofu right there. There's some broccoli. It's so good. bloody good, especially with the swatch. It's like a whole new level with the swatch. It's like, oh my god. Get it up, get it up, get it up with the swatch. Yes, please. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Don't say have starch on it, don't say that, but who can say no to starch? The good stuff. And yeah, it's hot. I still love it. Oh, so good. So good. It's so good. But I think I just jumped this morning because last night I couldn't sleep. I literally couldn't sleep last night. And I was literally like, I don't know what happened. I just could not fucking sleep. I just couldn't sleep. I went to sleep at 10, 10, half 10, 11 o'clock. And then I woke up around about half 12. I stayed up and had my alarm go off at half one. And then suddenly, from out of nowhere, I just, my head, my head hit the covers and I just fell asleep. So next time that fucking happens to me, I'm just going to go to the gym near and then, you know. Anytime it happens to me again, uh, and I get up at half 12, but... And can you take me to the gym? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And then I'll sit when I get back. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. So yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Get into my tummy because you are really good. Mmm. Yeah, I decided to do this makeup look because I thought to myself, why not? It's a festival look. But I actually like it. I actually am really subtle on the eyes, like so subtle. I like to use the Kylie Bye Bye palette. For the highlight, I use Kylie Bye Bye palette as well. The lips, I use uh, uh, Exo Beauty. And then for the like, lashes, I use Exo Beauty. Mascara, bang, bang, big bang, go. Benefit with the benefit was the mascara, the hula, and the blush. But. Oh, look at oh my god who got who's it's excited for the Jordy for for the only way sex I watched it yesterday I got all up to no not yesterday the day before and I got all up today and then I saw a sneak peek and then I thought fucking hell is Gemma and I are gonna break up like she's there like I'm so gonna be with I'm single it's like bloody hell I can't who can't wait for a towie it's gonna be the best It's gonna be so good. I can't wait for it. I'm gonna see what the fuck happens between Gemma and Arj. Because you see him like she's blocked me and everything. Like Gemma wouldn't block Arj. Like normally Arj is the one that blocks bloody Gemma. But I don't know. Sorry, I'm having lunch while eating. Like it's like I'm at bunk drawing my bloody dog. And so many people don't like it, like, oh my god, well, aren't you serious? But, I don't care. Might as well eat and chat, you know. You can chat. 
every time I look down, I can see the I can see these gems. And that they're fake. They're not real. They're like plastic, but they look so beautiful. But every time I look down, I can see them right there. I assume me and my husband are going on holiday, which I can't wait for, which I'm literally excited to go on holiday. That's what I'm excited for, to go on holiday. That's really what I'm excited for, to go on holiday. We're going to, we're going to a place where we went um, in Fan 16 in Bunnishaw. Okay, it is a family resort, but uh, couples do go there as well. So I can't wait to do that. Right, we'll go out, party, have some us time. No work. Just no party. Which I'm literally excited for. All right. We will leave on Friday the 7th. Like we'll go there on Friday the 7th. No, that's what it is. We'll leave there on Friday the 7th and we'll start going around there Friday the 7th and then basically, um, then basically, um, get there, like, travel to Celsi, get there, and then go find our house, like our caravan, go find where our caravan is and everything, and then basically what will happen is, after we find our caravan, we will basically be in our caravan, get all packed, all sorted, and then, like, chillax, no, we won't chillax, we'll probably go and, go and get something to eat, like, go and get a food shop, so I'll be vegan. But go get some food shop. But that I'll probably just like have um like I probably will like exercise but not go to the gym like go out for walks and go for a jog with my husband and all the stuff that we wanna do. Do all that. And that'd be good for me, you know. Just do all that. And then you do want to go crazy golf there as well. Right. I'm going to do a video of like pack with me. Like. If, I'm, if you want me to do a video that I did like in 2016. Like what I'm taking on holiday. Just let me know. And I'll do that. I mean definitely get a new suitcase. Which we're going to get in Primark. Primark do the suitcases and they're cheap. I don't know how good the quality they are but. You know, it's just something that, it's just as cheap as we need. So when you see my video today, it will be a little different, it will be, but I need to water some plants today. I need to actually water them. Because if I don't, they won't get done. They will not get done. Oh my God, it's got... Face to face I found my pain Beneath the lies and broken dreams Lost the love I had in me It tore me apart, fade away I felt so lost but I held on to what I had For what it's worth that you feel and know Just know that you can, yes you can There's life in love that you hold above and let it glow Just know that It's never too late to make a change Crash and burn, I found myself Beneath the emptiness Wanted more, I let it go Holding on to love Breaking through For the person who feels alone This one for the hero who has no home This one for the one who lived for hope Change and better days Pick your head up Keep on fighting Living, loving mm -hmm. Make your mind up If you want it, take it, fly Crash 
and everything and I'm going to show you them now. See look, there, that bunch down there is radish so my radish is coming out. Strawberry plant is flowering so we're going to have strawberries. We have the raspberry plant and that's, it's growing so we need it to grow up a bit more. It was really tall but it broke like it, fell, like it snapped. And then all these there, that is a broad bean coming up and that's really coming up, that bigger one. This is I think cabbage, the lettuce is not doing that great because the lettuce is right there and it's still not doing not that great and watering every day the herbs this is basil i love this from the basil and this is cory this is parsley flat this parsley oh it smells good this is thyme oh the thyme smells gorgeous and this is mint mint smells so good as well what the hell and then we've got the flowers which are blooming very nicely these are all the flowers that we picked up we went to sweet drug and you know we went to long acres and we went to being cute just a bit of surprise and now that they're out and this one's out they're kind of flourishing really well i need to sort out my bike because that is a big thing that i need to sort out sorry if you can't see me but you know what it is um so the bike needs to be done i'll show you the bike Right there, and it needs to be done, you know. The bike needs to be done, it's right there, you know. The bike just needs to be done, you need to get that sorted because I do want to go out for a bike ride and bike and everything. But yeah, I'm actually, it's really nice inside, it's just a bit, it is very bruisey. As you can see, I've still got the glitters on me. Tonight, I will take that off in the box. I have got fake lashes on there from XO Beauty, I do like them, they're kind of nice. Can I say and I do like them? I think they're the dramatic side, I think. But I do like them. None the lips, lips are carpe diem. But yeah, Dan is heading home now and it's just a nice day outside. It just really is. It's beautiful, it's sunny, you know, it's all that jazz. And this is kind of my festival look yet. So yeah, when you do see my video of the festival look, uh it was kind of I was kind of gonna do a first impression of the foundation that I was using I'm still gonna do that first impression like I'm still recording that first impression it's kind of awkward you know to do I still love my makeup my makeup is really good if you put stickers on top of the, your makeup and you peel them off do not your makeup will not be there they just peel off like I tried it with this one and I just put some glue like lash glue on them and it seems to be holding up really well which I'm really really happy about um but yeah that video is got is I've changed the video to a festival look now but the Friday one will be like a first impression of it and then I am going to be doing a spring, summer, morning and night routine. I do need to change the covers for a fact because I don't really want the covers you know to be like that. I know the wash line is crap, it's not very good, it's just you know, it's so not good. But you know I'm just kind of doing what I need to do. I just love it, just like the glitter just down this these gems are standard they're not real they're like plastic gems but they still look I still look I think they look pretty like you, well when you eat these are called glitter shrine and they're from Superdrug. like when you do use them do not just peel off the gem one by one peel off the white bit because it all it is stuck to like a clear sticky bit so you just peel it off put it on and they are just like that I want to buy like a headpiece right there for one because I think that'd be really pretty but I do want to get some like little gem my little fake gem ones which i think are pretty but it's just a natural festival look which i think is really nice like just shove some gems on and get done that's what you need to do for a festival face to face i found my pain beneath the lies and broken dreams lost the love i had in me it tore me apart fade away Felt so lost, but I held on to what I had For what it's worth that you feel in love Just know that you can, yes you can There's life in love that you hold Rise above and let it glow Just know that it's never too late to make a change 
Good afternoon, guys. It is 3.32? Two? Two. We're going yeah, with 2. Yeah, 3.32. Yeah. Um, I'm home. I've had a... Yeah. Okay day at work. Yeah. It's work. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't wait to get home to my lovely, lovely, beautiful wife. Mm. Don't do that! Don't do what? Do you think I'm stupid? Oh, uh, what did I do? You did something and I don't know what it was. What are you doing? <laughs> I love the, uh, don't, like, don't do that. Did you push it down? What did you do? You, you, you know what I did. No, so. I don't. I knew you did something. What did you do? I pulled these from out under the wheel. Very cool. Just giving me shit for doing something. All I did was pull some boxes out from under you. the wheel. Yeah, annoying day. Glad to be home. Oh, I'm going to bugger off now because, well, I've actually got to do some work. Catch up with you guys. My dinner in the oven. It is coming to 4.30, but it's still not done. But this is my, I love the drawers on my face. I think it looks, I think it just looks really pretty. So I need to wipe up some stuff to put in the stuff. Oh, my knives.
clean and bashing iron. It's gonna be good. So yeah, I'm just uh, my dinner is like peppers with some stuff in there, like quinoa and everything's like stuffed peppers. So once they're done, the way I like them, like they're like really nice. Um, I'm gonna put some cheese, like dye cheese on top, and put some jalapeno in, and it should be nice. Like the dye cheese, when it's on the sun, it doesn't taste good, but when it's melted, it tastes yum. I love it. It's like, like oh god, so good. It does. It just tastes really nice. That's what I do like about it. But yeah, I'm just like thinking. Yeah, I love that I had my lunch. I did have a gherkin as well, which was yummy. Yes, which was yummy. The gherkin was really, really nice. I actually do enjoy the gherkin. Oh, put up my trousers. I can't wait to find it because then I get I, like an oatmeal smoothie and some tacos, like butter squash tacos. Not a butter squash, but I need to I might, like, peel it and then put the cubes in the fridge. So I might do that. I put the keepers in the fridge. And we like put the lime and the coconut. And put it on, put the lime, coconut, and put it all up. I've got this. You put the thingy, you put the, put the thingy, you put the thingy, you do. So yeah, I'm just like, it's hard to get started once you thingy, but. Oh. That's what colour it is. Gorgeous. I love the butter squash. It's a gorgeous colour. No, it's a really gorgeous colour. I love it because it's a gorgeous colour. Really gorgeous colour. It is like a really gorgeous colour. I just love it. It's just a gorgeous colour. Oops. I'll have it in there if I need The scraps of the thingy. I'm going to need to like, take this off as well. Even though I'm not using the skin, it's just going to be easier to slice through and put these in a container, keep them up and put them in a container and then, and then use them. Ow. It's like, oh. Ugh. Right. Ugh. I don't want to not use all the banana squash. I love banana squash, but I don't, need, I don't want not to want to use it all. Like, it's a very good taste, but... Ow! Ow! Okay, don't do that. But it's just hard to cut it. It's just hard to slice. So I just slice it with a regular slicer. And you know, just start from the top. Stuff! Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Like, when you think it just gets... I just sneeze. Ugh. 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 Once you've got the skin off, it's fine. Just like then. Actually, fine once you've got the skin off. It's just when you are doing it and you haven't got the skin off yet. See, like, skin. Skin. Oh. Just going around the edge first of all to make sure you know it's all off. Oh. That was like a bit close. <laughs> That's the stuff I make when I cut it up. I don't like ages, but and it's like the squash bar is really good as well. Especially when you get inside, it's all like the seeds and everything. You don't see those on the bottom, I'm supposed to show you it. But I actually love the, the inside, it's just really nice. It looks really nice, and I'm gonna use a. Well, okay. oh, one is this one just to cut into it. Like cutting. Like you gotta cut. Oh crap, it's really slimy. It's once you've done everything, you're like, I can't take it off because it's slimy. My husband's just on his, just trying to upload because he's getting his um, YouTube channel back. Like, if you go in the comments, it's his Hobbit one that he does. And if you, if you go in the description bar, you will see his channel. Which, if you're if you've got family member that owned Hobbit, he does like painted tutorials and some gaming, and that's what I'm doing. Like my bloody thingy, I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, 
like here we go just like just like cutting now I need to cut in half and cut in half that's what's going to be a little bit tri tricky Something, so I'm gonna get my towel and I'm gonna put it underneath my chopping board so it won't move. So if you ever have that, if you have a chopping board that always moves, place a towel underneath and it won't move as much. So what we're gonna do is start in the middle and like I'm just gonna to to take the stalk off and you see that it's lovely and yellow, but I don't want the stalk. So now I'm gonna to have to kind of go down and I should it. Oh, oh that's lovely, that's lovely. So this is what it looks like and it looks so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. It looks so good. It smells so good. I'm gonna take this teaspoon just to get everything out. You know, get the teaspoon and get everything out. That way. It's like a pumpkin really, it's like Pumpkin, pumpkin. Alright, I'm just going to get all the seeds out for now. I'm going to worry about the roots when I'm done. Damn! Come here. Be like pumpkin, but it's not. There's something else. I'm going to have to ask him for some of this. Do you want any of these seeds for this butternut squash? No. Um. Yeah. Well, can, yeah, there's loads of them. How many do you want? Half. Okay, do you want to take half then and put it in a container? Yeah. Yeah, a little container. No, no, you do need a little container. Ew. It's gross. Why won't you do it? Because you were in the way at the time. I'm busy. Why you want me to go to your button that squash? No, I'm just asking if you want it because you want it with the avocado and the avocado is just sitting there not doing nothing. Right. Feel the top. No, I'm fine, thanks. Well, the top's cracked. Yeah, I see the top is cracked. Ew. The butter squash is like... Okay. Ugh. Got my head. Ah. Uh, it's really disgusting. It's like makes your hands rage. That's what I hate with butter squash. It makes your hands orange. We're starting from the bottom, now we're here. Let me just, like, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to take all the excess off. I can put that in hole. A tray. It's going to in the bin. My husband, if he wants like stuff like that, because I know eight out of ten times he always wants it to like, cook with. So I'm just gonna cut it up now into chunks. They cut it up into chunks, like I don't know how many width of part chunks. So my husband like how many chunks you getting in it? I have no idea. I'm just like cutting it into chunks, like cubes. Like you wanted to cut it into cubes all the way. cubes so I'm gonna cut it into cubes I'm not very good at cutting cubes so I'll just do what I like to do oh. and cut it into cubes and then butter it into this tin right here and then that's what you get that's what you get with it just nice and cute I like using a big knife because it just is a little bit easier to use a big knife He's still got that piece there, like, like he got like things that like, but like the back of you. I'm just cutting. I'm just gonna go around it and tear that off because it's getting thinner and thinner as I go. I don't want to get thinner and thinner as I go. Okay, here we go. I cut into cubes in this, and they won't. I'll show you what I have done at the end of it. Because you know, and like, let me show you. Like, if you want to see any cooking videos on my channel, just like on my main channel, just let me know and I'll do that. And you can see what 
I cook. Like I can do cooking stuff on like Stephanie's plan, but I do want to make some jackfruit tacos, like pulled pork jackfruit tacos, which are lovely. Like pulled pork, oh, they're just I haven't tried them, but I've got told that they're actually really nice. I got told that from a couple of people that are on YouTube, like, you should try these. I always do videos of it and they always say you should try them because they're really nice and I actually do want to try them because they look really good. That's a, that's a lot of burner squash and I haven't finished with it yet. It's a lot of burner squash but I need a lot of squash. I did like buy um like I did buy frozen butternut squash and I got that from Iceland because Iceland are really good if you haven't heard I don't know if Iceland's anywhere else in the world but I know it's in the UK um but it's a good thing to like have because they do like all nice and frozen stuff they do frozen pizza and everything and my husband loves their frozen pizzas like my husband just loves their frozen pizzas they're like <gasps> frozen pizzas now with this bit, I'm not going to use this bit, so I'm just going to chop that bit away. I just no way. I just like drinking. Like some of it, I won't drink away. I'm just like, like do this, like peel up, peel up. Okay, peel up, and then cut. Ew. And then do the it. So I'm going to put these in the fridge to like have them like. Okay. I have my nice and thingy. Nice, nice, nice. Um. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Like, I want to see if I can do something. Like, I know you can have butternut squash noodles. Like, I know that for a fact. Like, you, you do is you prick. A banana squash is you t put it in half either microwave it or put it in the oven and then basically when it goes soft you kind of scrape out the insides with a fork and you have like banana squash noodles or something and that looks really good and like oh my god that looks so good it looks so good why can't i have some because i don't make it but well, that's what i'm gonna do this is get another banana squash the banana squash shake it it's like yellow and it's like i have a banana squash as yellow all right so I'm just going to cut this one as well, which is really good. I'm just cutting it. That looks so good. Yeah, my peppers are in the oven, waiting for them to be done. Because, you know, I like my peppers to be really, like, kind of nice and done. Really nice and done. Like, sometimes I will do them at an angle, but I've got lots of bonus. How much bonus squash I've got? Not even full yet, but it looks good. It looks good and fantastic. Oh. Oh. Some are in cubes, some are not. It depends what I do with them. Some are in cubes, and I'm like, oh, look, some are cubes, and some are not. I'm like, that's not right. The trouble is when I cook, I don't care what I actually, you know, kind of do with it. As long as I like to have it, that's all that matters with me. Oh, that's a button that's squash in here. I can look at that button that's squash. It's like nearly up to the top. Nearly up to the starting from the button now we're here. If you know where that's from, comment down below where it's from. I heard it. Uh, no, I can't get out of my head. I'm like, starting from the bottom, now we're here. I can always mention the cockroach. Now we're here. Bit of a booty thing. Don't like the booty thing. This vlog might be really long, I'm sorry, but some of you like really long vlogs, and some of you like, I don't like really long vlogs. Why are you doing really long vlogs? And I don't like it. I'm thinking, uh, the trouble is, I know some of my friends, they hate my really long vlogs, but they always say that one of my friends, they watch my vlogs, and basically what they do is that they come back um, for, they start on one day and they come back to the next day, and 
something to do like my long vlogs and so I'm just sort of, I say to my friends I can't win I actually can't win like some people love long vlogs but when you're there like I don't like long vlogs you actually can't win with people because you're like what do you want me to do you said you like long like half of you say like long vlogs and have a half of like a nip I don't like them but everyone has to realize that I'm gonna be comforting to everybody oh, I know I did a poll on Twitter and Instagram like does anyone I'm seeing I got cheated on or I scared my friend and most of you said cheated on and I was like crap so yeah, I'm gonna go now this is this is how much butter squash I've got still have a little bit more room but then I'm, gonna put I'm just filling up some Jaeger bombs and there's the monster I'm um, just having some wheat crunches these are vegan I checked on the packet and there's no meat in there on them no dairy or no milk all it says is making chain no like milk but when you should realize that the reason it says that is because it's protecting itself because it's made inside a factory that does do animal products. Ooh. But they're really long. Yeah, I'm going to end the vlog right now. Oh, tell them what you just did. What did you just do? What? In the car. Basically, Dan was driving, there's a cat going to the middle of the road, and it was like that, and I went like this. Put, I had this phone in my hand and put both my hands up in front of my face like, oh my god, he's alright, he's alright! <laughs> and Dan weren't very happy. This is one of those times where I'm glad it was me dying and not fun. No, but trouble is, I think if I was in that situation, I'd probably just run the fucker down. Hmm. Not to be horrible against animals, because I don't want to do that, but if the cat ends up in the road and you, and you, and you run over it, it's not your fault. It's because you're trying to drive sensibly. But yeah, I thought you were going to pour it. I'm sorry, I said I pulled the Jaeger. Oh, okay. That's no, okay, I'll pull the first one. You said I'll pull the first one and you pull the second one. That's what you said. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If it is a bit long, sorry, but yeah, you know, it's going to be a long vlog. Hope you did enjoy it. Please hit, please smash that thumbs up button. Please also smash the subscribe and press on the notification so you can be alerted every time we post a video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.